Welcome back to Biz Asia America, your link to Asia and beyond. I'm Michelle McCorry. For the first time in decades, Cuba is trying to bring in foreign investment. A special economic development zone is under construction around the port of Mariel near Havana. Michael Voss has the story. The new container port at Mariel. Could this be the entry point for capitalism into Cuba? Financed by Brazil and inaugurated in January, phase one of the project is fully operational. Almost all the ships that used to unload in Havana have diverted here. Now, around the port, the Cubans are busy laying infrastructure for a special economic development zone. The government is offering tax and other incentives, which it hopes will be sufficient to induce foreign companies to invest here. We need industrial projects to develop the economy. We could have the best investment law in the world, but if we do not generate mutually beneficial projects with assured probability, we will not be able to bring the capital that the country needs. One of the selling points is that Marielle is one of the very few deep water ports in the region capable of handling the much larger container ships coming from Asia once the Panama Canal expansion is completed. Potentially, this could become a regional transshipment center. The Cubans are looking for investors prepared to take a long view, getting a foothold here on the island in anticipation of the day when the U.S. trade embargo is finally lifted. There are already exceptions to the trade embargo. This ship sailed here directly from the United States with food and agricultural products, along with new cars for U.S. diplomats based here. The Cuban authorities say 23 foreign companies are looking to invest in the development zone, though so far no contracts have been signed. Michael Voss, CCTV, Marielle, Cuba.